and uh, we bring you some new features uh, into our Laravel page builder product so uh, before uh, giving full detail description about our new product uh, we are grateful that uh, you all stayed with Garage Lab for this long time and uh, you always get update uh, on our latest products in the shop page we have lots of products listed into the shop page so always stay with the uh, garage lab and view the latest updates uh, time to time and uh, for today's uh, demonstration we will go to the laravel page builder and if you see the laravel page builder it has all the uh, uh, available uh, features that we provide you it's a drag and drop page builder you don't need any kind of programming skill or uh, coding uh, knowledge uh, to implement unlimited page uh, into Laravel. Just uh, simple uh, drag the component uh, into the editor and uh, place uh, it uh, where you want to see the component. Okay, so this it's uh, very simple. We have uh, listed. We are uh, time to time adding lots of uh, widgets or components into this page builder. So. Uh, this time we are adding a call to action uh, feature into this uh, Laravel page builder so before the demonstration uh, just uh, let you know that we have all the demos available into this page so if you view this page and go to the demo section you can easily see the demos available so please uh, see all the demos and you will understand how this product works and also we have uh, here um, other uh, features like uh, uh, the um, styling features and uh, components uh, everything is listed here this product comes with uh, three flavors basic professional and enterprise basic contents uh, the minimal feature you need to understand how this product works uh, we recommend the professional uh, uh, package so that uh, you can get uh, all the tests of our full products so we have all the uh, features uh, and 24 hour 7 support for this package available and uh, if you are a very large uh, company then definitely enterprise is the right solution for you and uh, you have all the features uh, that we support available here so always see this product page so let's uh, jump into the demonstration and uh, in the larva page builder you will see the all the pages listed and if you go to the page builder just in under the action tab action column then you will open the page builder and uh, in the component under extra navigation we have the call to action uh, beside the authentication so we just uh, drag the that uh, button into our editor so it uh, just uh, call to action you can edit all the header title content and uh, call to action main and uh, secondary links uh, everything is editable we have all the features editable so just to make a page like feel so we have added some post here and let's uh, add uh, some text uh, into this area have added a text here and you can change all these styles using this uh, uh, style uh, guidelines you can may apply all the changes here import images everything in child everything you can modify and uh, let's change the header header title we have changed it and uh, if you go to the styling widget you see we can add the classes you can apply class to uh, styles to these classes in, under the general we have the display property display block inline properties here and uh, if we make it inline it's changing inline block corresponding is changing so everything is you can control you can adjust the plot you can apply it and also the positions we can apply we can use the positions we have the styling top right left bottom and under the dimension we can control the height width max height minimum height of this uh, 
content area everything is uh, uh, controllable and uh, for the margin we have and padding we have all the top right bottom left uh, styling properties you can control those from this uh, uh, number button and under typography we can control the font families we can also control the size font weight letter spacing font color line height text align everything can be changed okay so you can change everything under text decoration we have background color border radius let's change the a border before applying the border radius we need to set the border width border width we have set the border width let's say for the top we are applying you see here it is changed okay so you can in this way you can uh, change the border shadow okay and you can apply box shadow here you can apply the box shadow you see in the area it is changed uh, with uh, okay so you can easily increase the value and uh, the box shadow is changed so it is changed uh, You can give the type and color and also you can change the background color here also you can apply gradient you can apply gradient uh, and uh, for under the extra tab you can uh, change the opacity and uh, transition and uh, filter everything is changed and on the call to action you can uh, if you click if you go to the styling section component section you can uh, add the uh, link here for each uh, of the button so for example if we uh, set here main then it will open the main content area and you can set also the external link uh, so it will display the external section and uh, it will take you to that window and uh, the target window you can uh, define this window or new window whichever you like you can set title on the button so you can define properly there so this is an auto save area you can uh, it is auto saved from the system also we have a manual save button to be sure you can also save it here and uh, if you want to see the corresponding code you can see the corresponding code here and uh, to see the preview this, this is our page preview so the page will be like this and uh, so hope you, it will be a very useful, useful plug feature for you to use thanks for being with garage lab bye